Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher and really appreciate you guys watching today's video. In today's video, guys, we're gonna be talking about how to use dye on different type of soft plastic lures to sort of maximize their effectiveness. Um, dyes are one of my favorite things to do to modify a lure, guys. I think it makes a big difference in matching the conditions to just sort of tweak the color a little bit, it makes it more appealing to the fish. So we're gonna give you guys some, some good tips on that today. And before we get started, guys, I just want to invite everybody, anyone interested in booking an on-the-water lesson with me where we go out in the water and cover various techniques, whatever you want to learn about, um, just shoot me a private message on my Facebook page, Randy Block at Professional Angler, and I can give you the details about that. So much appreciated. <clears throat> okay, guys, there's um, dyes. You can dye any, really anything, hard bait, soft bait. I dye even my hard bait sometimes and about any soft plastic you want to. But specifically what I want to talk today, guys, I want to show you how to dye a swim bait here because swim baits are one of the best lures as far as that will take dye. And I, I usually always dye them. So I'm going to sort of give you, give you guys some tips and advice on what I like to do to them. So first of all, um, probably the chartreuse pen is my favorite. I also use some different colors like red and orange. It just depends on what I'm trying to dye up. But for the swim baits, I really like the orange on any type of a shad pattern like this. Now there's pretty much two ways that I do this. The first thing I do is you'll notice on most swim baits, there's a color separation right here. It's like most swim baits have a, a lighter belly color, a little bit darker back. And you can see sort of right through here, there's a separation. What I like to do is I like to come and I like to put a line with this chartreuse dye right along that that separation point on the on the bait there, like this. So I've got it like that. And then the tail is one of the most critical parts to dye. But one of the things about dyeing a tail is don't get carried away with it because you don't wanna like dye the entire tail unless the water clarity is a little bit on the dirty side or if it's like rain or cloudy. For the most part, I just like to put a little bitty puff on the end of it here, like this. I don't, maybe like a, a quarter percentage of it, just like that, where I've still got a lot of it still, you know, you can see the better like that. A lot of it is still exposed. <clears throat> and the difference in the two, I'll show you before and after. Here's the same swim bait before the dye, and here's the same swim bait after the dye. Now, you can notice that quite a bit of difference. It almost looks like a completely different color of bait there. And guys, which one of you, if you were a fish, which one of you, which one to you looks a little bit more appealing there? I mean, this one right here, it's like, I. this is the way I do almost all my swim baits. It just seems like it gives it a lot more natural appeal. Something about the chartreuse stands out a little bit, even if the water is clean. And it's just a big confidence thing for me, so. Anyway, guys, the thing about dyeing baits, just use your own imagination and creativity. And there's a lot of different places you can get dye. Um, I'll put the bait works link in the description, guys. They have a big selection of, of a lot of different type of dyes. You can order them off that link there. But um, one, the, there's two different aspects about this. Number one, when you dye a lure, not only does it create a strike attraction, but it gives you confidence that you're doing something or you have a lure that nobody else has. And, and you have to realize in fishing how important confidence is. And for me, I know simply because everybody's going to, some people are going to color the baits, they're dime, some people aren't, but everybody can add their own little twist to it there. And that twist that you add will, will you know, be a big part of your own confidence level in the lure that you're using. And a lot of times I like on these, I'll, I'll, I'll even take them and, um, Sometimes I'll put just like ribs on them down the side like this. Just put some, some ribs down the side that breaks it up a little bit more, but just experiment with it and give it a try. One of the things, another thing you'll find out about soft plastics dyeing them, the dye will take a much better to some type of a clear or translucent or light colored. If you try to dye a dark colored bait, like a black or a June bug or a red or something like that, it doesn't really take the dye good. It turns it into like a baby poop green. <laughs> it just doesn't look very good out there. But anyway, guys, start dyeing your baits. It's definitely gonna add up to a few more fish and I'm confident uh, you guys will start doing it from now on. So we'll talk later, see you.